Let's look at SAP Business One 8.8 .8, Alerts and Approval Procedures. What we see in front of us is the standard Business One 8.8 .8 interface. We'll click on the Messages and Alerts Overview. Now what I can see in front of me is two requests for document approval. Let's assume I'm the manager of the organization and what I want is that every time a purchase order is placed with a value above 5,000 Australian dollars I'd like to approve that process. As with standard SAP Business One functionality, I can click on the orange arrow and drill down to the next level of detail. What I can see here is this is currently a draft document sent to me from Bill and it's pending. I can see it relates to our purchase order template and again as with standard SAP Business One functionality, I can now drill down to the actual document, i.e. the next level of detail. Once again, at this point, I could drill down to the actual supplier or down to the items if I wish. Having had a look at that purchase order, I can now decide either to approve or not approve that order. Let's assume I approve it, then I put my remarks in here, say approved, CapEx 3321. Once I update that document, the document draft has now become a committed purchase order inside SAP Business One. So let's have a look at how that functionality is set up inside SAP. What we saw there was the interface of the manager who was physically approving that process. But the beauty of SAP Business One is that as I go to set up these various approval procedures, I don't need expensive consultancy hours to do this. I can do this in-house. So let's have a look at how your administrator or super user might set up these approvals. The first thing they'll do is have a look at the approval stages. How many approvals are required to approve this? In this instance, I have purchase orders above $5,000, one approval required by the manager. The next element to set these up is to have a look at the actual template that you want to use. So in this instance, I've said when Bill Levine, who is in sales, originates a document, which is purchase order, I've ticked purchase order. Then he needs to go through one stage of authorization where the document total is greater than $5,000. And that's all I need to do to set that up. So very simply, what did we do? We went along, we told the system how many stages of approval we want, in this instance one. What sort of template did we want? We said we wanted it based on purchase order, one stage greater than $5,000. Now obviously you can set this up not just for purchase orders but also for sales AR, stock and payments. So as an example, I might say, please allow me to approve all sales quotations where the sales value is greater than X or please ensure that I have approval on all sales orders where the value is greater than X. So these are some of the standard approval processes inside SAP Business One. Obviously, you can set your own up as well. Now let's have a look at alerts inside SAP Business One. So we'll click on Alerts Management, and what we'll see here is that the first standard alert we'll look at is minimum stock deviation. Now alerts are slightly different to approvals. In approval processes, I want the system to physically require an approval from me before a draft document becomes a committed document in the system. Alerts are slightly different in that an approval process is not required, but the system is simply notifying me of a particular condition. In this instance, when the minimum stock of a particular item is reached, the system will send me an email or a notification. So your purchasing manager might like this functionality so that when stock of a particular item gets to their minimum order or restock level, the system will send an internal alert. Other options include, for example, deviation from credit limit, deviation from commitment limit, deviation from percentage gross profits is another one. So for example, please alert me when a sales order goes through and the percentage gross profit is below what we would normally expect. Or another great one, standard, is deviation from discount percentage. In other words, please alert me when a sales order goes through and the percentage discount is greater than what we would normally expect. 
So what we've seen here is standard approval procedures and workflow inside SAP Business One. We've seen alerts, management, and we've seen approval procedures. These are very simple to set up inside SAP Business One, and the team at Leverage have obviously extended, expanded this functionality to include some of our own approval procedures and alerts as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful. Please don't forget that there's lots of additional information on our website www.leveragetech.com.au Thank you.